Greetings to all and welcome to A View from the Hillary series. I am Akiba Ennis and I have given this devotional the title, God Answered Fire with Fire. The reading is taken from Daniel 3, which looks at the three Hebrew boys. So basically, they refused to bow down and worship the statue and as a result, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. With a fire so hot, seven times hotter, it killed the soldiers. After the king saw a fourth person, he said, it looks like the son of God, and it was. He told them to come out. And it was from that day, they all bowed down and worshiped the true and one living king. So when do God use people to show his power? Does he use comfort or trial? Well, in this case, we will go with trial because it is one of God's most used tools. Think about the many stories in the Bible where God used many individuals. For example, he entrusted Joseph, Job, Daniel, Moses, Isaiah, Paul, and many others. They were all faced with great trials, and I'm pretty sure we remember them only because the trials they faced, or perhaps we would forget them. So, why are we faced with trials? It is a part of God's work. It puts God's power on display. It prepares us for service. It sanctifies us, makes us depend on God, shows others that God is dependable. And through these trials, there are opportunities for rewards. Trials can even be used to discipline us. And in Isaiah chapter 9 is a perfect example of that. When God's chosen people were living in sin and he told Isaiah to warn them, but they listened, they made laughing sport at him and eventually he took away his protection. They were suffering, they were discouraged and depressed. But when Isaiah reminded them of the message of hope, they listened. He told them, listen to the good news. The king is coming, not the sinful one that they are used to, but this king will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This is what the people were longing for, for deliverance, was coming someday, and this king will break unto the scene and make everything right again, and his name will be called Jesus. You may be in a phase right now, and you may pray, Oh God, let this phase or trial leave me. However, the answer is not for it to leave you, but to ask God for the grace to continue this track record, because this track record will qualify you for the throne that you are being called unto. It's like an exam. It was the test of love. Can we still love under pressure? Can you still love under pressure?